leaving it locked in on the instrumental. I took back the key to this. Uh, run me the keys, run me the bees, run me that float back. The top three, I'm not number one. How can you post that? I would have proud the city is mine. You cannot hold that. I'm not the one to go at. Me, Joe Black. Run me the keys, run me the bees, run me that float back. What I'm saying, the top three, I'm not number one. How could you post that? Uh, I would have proud the city is mine. You cannot hold that. I'm not the one to go at. Me, Joe Black. What I'm saying, people saying what's already been said. Predictions, I don't listen. It's already in my head. No funny. Your most hungry place, I was past that in 28. Underground tapes, as my ass cap and publishing states. As we slide in the G ride, I've been getting criticized. It's keeping me energized. Create with a business mind, I'm from where killers reside. A wild hood, only new goons since my childhood. Say anything in their raps, cause it sound good. Don't even mean what they say, horrible outlook. Y'all ain't really about this house. Y'all was in the house with it. We don't respect fake jewelry and silly outfits. Window down, blowing out. Great tits, New York's J. Prince on Houston Street. I caught the bounce before my even bounced the beat. I took the hard way in the deep, man, it's the route for me. Uh, run me the keys, run me the bees, run me that float back. The top three, I'm not number one, how could you post that? I wouldn't crown the city is mine, you cannot hold that. I'm not the one to go at. Meet Joe Black. Run me the keys, run me the bees, run me that float back. The top three, I'm not number one, how could you post that? I wouldn't crown the city is mine, you cannot hold that. I'm not the one to go at. Meet Joe Black, meet Joe Black. technically five miles east of Washington, D.C., and that's where you find this place, FedEx Field in Landover, Maryland. Today, it's week three, and we've got a good one in store between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Washington Commanders. Two one-and-one teams here, each looking to move over 500, and we're underway here in week three. This will be fielded inside the five. Start on the ground here at Sanders. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. And there we saw one of the downside. During a rundown, because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Another run with Sanders. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little more difficult here, third and five. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackle through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Third play here. This opening drive is up against a third and five. Hurts. And this one complete to Smith. And he is going to have an Eagles first down. He needed five. He got it barely as it will officially go down as a gain of five yards. Well, they kept it simple there, CD, only needing the short gain to move the chain. So they didn't want to go with a deep throw. They just go with that safer, shorter throw and able to convert. Nothing wrong with that at all, partner. Check the box, right? Make sure you pick up the first down. Offense is getting established. You're moving the ball. You're not turning it over. Check, check, check. They like what they're doing early in the game. 
Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Now, look, that wasn't a huge gain, but those are the types of carries I think they were missing in their loss last week. They couldn't get him going on the ground. Did you get the same feeling I did during our meetings that they kind of regretted that he didn't touch the Absolutely. ball? Absolutely. You know, hey, he should have touched him more last week. They weren't going to make that same mistake, and they've taken care of that early. Hurts. He's going to drop this down to Sanders. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape, or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area. But they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. Complete. Smith has it. And he is going to have an Eagles first down, and comfortably so as he gets five there on third and a yard. We got to like what you're seeing from this offense here on the first drive. A nice, sustained series to begin the game that will continue after picking up another first there. But you say the word methodical comes to mind? I love the execution. I love what they're doing on this drive. They're controlling the ball, controlling the game, controlling the clock. So the completion results there in nine yards. And they'll have a second and one forthcoming. On the counter now, it's Sanders. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Four yards the pickup, first down. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. But first down, Hurts. That is caught by Josh Oliver, the former San Jose State Spartan. So just three yards on the completion there. And it's second down. And how about this first drive? They're being aggressive, slinging it around. Really confident, too, because they're not trying to fool them with running plays, throwing it, and they're being very successful right now. It's a second down run with Sanders. Works his way inside the 30 on a pickup of four. If you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball with a lot of people up front. Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. It's been a pretty long opening drive. This will be play number 11 coming up on third down. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Oh, that's in the double coverage and intercepted. And the Commanders are going to take possession here at their own 33. They're trying to resurrect his confidence. Last week was a disaster. Five interceptions in that loss and another pick there. I played with a quarterback like this before, and he had a tough game. And the head coach said, I'll take him. I'll fix him. The very next game, he started out the exact same way. The head coach turned to the offense coordinator and said, he's yours from now on. <laughs> Someone has to take responsibility and work with him and try and get him settled. A running play on first down, and it turns into a fight just to get back to the line of scrimmage. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy's nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Here's Hal to throw on second down. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm. Incomplete. Now it's third down. Good coverage on the outside, and I think that's where he wanted to check that down to. But once he saw the danger over there, he just threw that one over everyone's head. Smart play. An incomplete pass on second down. It muddles things a little bit here. This is third and ten. Hal throwing on third down here. And that is incomplete. But the pressure there on third down, forcing the errant pass. Fourth down coming up. Tress Way on fourth down is sent out to punt. And just a single punt for him in the loss last week as he sends this one away. This is taken at the 18. It's a 45-yard punt, but a decent return there of nine yards. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. 
Well, they were intercepted the first time they had the football, but now they get it back, and it's still 0-0. And because of that, you know what the thought process is? Interception. What interception? It didn't really happen because they gave up no points. So go back on the attack. Go back and run the offense you believe will be successful. Find your playmakers and give them the football. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Cameron Curl. And the Commanders are going to take possession of the football. Well, it doesn't take a whole lot of investigation to figure out why they're still sitting at zero on the scoreboard because the quarterback's got to wake up and start reading defense a heck of a lot better after throwing his second interception. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. That was nice work there defensively to force the incompletion. Now, even though this drive started in plus territory, they're still not field goal range yet. So they can work towards another couple of stops and not allowing that turnover to hurt. To throw again on second down. Howell. This is caught by his tight end, Logan Thomas. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender. But the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. the 37 on third down. 19, Tiger, 19, Tiger. Gibson here running out of the gun. A good space to operate there as he takes this down inside the 35-yard line. 10 yards there, good for a Washington first down. That old line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only are they controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels. You know, get to the linebacker spot, the secondary spot, getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. They'll try to continue that trend here this afternoon. We're scoreless after one. Throwing on first down here. Middle of the field, he's got McLaurin. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. But coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big time run, big time pass. A one-two combination. Look pretty good. How about that, Dave? Let's see if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. The vision and speed, two of the attributes that you might say are important for a free safety, and we saw both in evidence there. And that is a situation where in a defender's mind, you just have to pick a point on the football field and think to yourself, I'm going to sprint full out and meet him at that point. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but he had to play diagnosed perfectly there. They'll run with Gibson. They'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. That's good power football on first and goal. A lot of teams will throw from there, but that's a nice job to chew up a few more yards and get yourself closer to the goal line. Second and goal from inside the five. Oh, they're going to run a little pop pass here. And he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. That's a nice job there defensively being able to diagnose that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on it before he could get much out of it. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. Gibson will score. Touchdown, Commanders. He had the option to hand that football off. I think it's safe to say that he made the right decision. That was a heck of a run. It certainly was. And when you mentioned the option, most people think the quarterback's not going to keep the ball. You know, in the NFL, that's usually not the recipe for being around too long. So when you do keep it, it often surprises the heck out of a defense. An extra point by Sly is up and good. And that makes the score 7-0.
Washington kick team back out there now as they will send this one away. From the six. And he's going to be taken down inside the 10 at about the eight yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And it's been a miserable start for them offensively, obviously. Two drives, two interceptions. And this is where you have to know your quarterback. And Hurts is intercepted, his third of the game. Picked by Kendall Fuller. And the Commanders are going to take possession of the football. Now, I'm not sure that the wheels, Charles, are coming completely off, but they're shaking a little bit. That's three interceptions, and now interceptions here on back-to-back -back drives. And I think about what a Hall of Fame coach told me that he always told his teams, when a mistake happens, just move on to the next play. Let it go. Hard to do when you've thrown this many interceptions. That's exactly the attitude that has to be adopted. Now, here's a little touch pass as they tap it quickly to their receiver. And he will score! Touchdown, Washington! Jahan Dotson, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Commanders are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. CD for them, this has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, it held scoreless in the first quarter. Now they find the end zone again here in the second. Sometimes you just have to have some patience. A lot of people think it's always an adjustment. You have to change what you're doing. Sometimes you just have to do your game plan just a little bit better. And I think that's part of what we're seeing here. Kick team out there for the Commanders as they send this one away. And that one bounces out of the back of the end zone. So we'll start the drive at the 25 on the touchback. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back, but make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. All the commanders are going to get there as he's taken down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Well, that's a big defensive stop there, and it takes away a lot of the momentum from the offense coming off that big completion to prior snap. Give big credit to the defense for bouncing back. Now, following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Hurts throw taken in by Watkins here. A good pick up there, 13 yards as they get closer for third down. The offense on third down, they've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and four. Hurt sets up to throw it. That swung out wide to Sanders. So he fought off the tackle, and that effort gives him the first before he's brought down. On first and ten, it's Sanders. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run. All right, It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. From just shy of midfield, Hurts. This one caught by his tight end, Oliver. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play. The ball comes out, and it's Washington that scoops it up. He'll get it inside the 20. And he is going to bring this one back to the house. It's a commander's touchdown on the scoop and score. 
Now Joey Sly for the point after. And it is now 21 to nothing. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. This is taken way up at the 25. And they're going to have good starting field position. He's out of bounds, but not before he's across the 35. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores, and I know we're in the first half, but the way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession, but I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit. If they don't score here... That's what they could be facing the next time they get the ball. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. But there's an incompletion, partner, and the struggles through the air continue because so far their lack of passing production has led to a lack of points. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. From the gun, it's Hurts. And this is caught by Watkins. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. And he's able to get the first here as he's taken down at the 25. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. First and ten, it's Hurts. The quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. Yeah, their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Throwing again on second and ten. Hurts. That is caught. It's the tight end, Goddard. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. <laughs> Throwing his hurts. And he's going to go down just outside of the 5, right around the 6-yard line. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts. As they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. On second and goal. Hurts. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Two straight sacks have him backed up now for a third and goal. Here's Hurts to throw. And Goddard's got it. Touchdown, Eagles. The way this one was going, you just got the sense they needed something before half. They've at least got something on the board now. Still trailing, but a good sign. That takes me back to our preseason tour of NFL camps. You remember we, we talked with that one coach who said his emphasis this year was scoring in the last two minutes yep. of a half, heading into the locker room. This hits it right there. Take that momentum, take that good feeling, and take it to the locker room, regroup, and start over. They got it here. They did indeed. A lot of football, a full half to be played. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. 
And with a 21-7 lead already in their hip pocket, probably not a time to get too creative or inventive here. We'll see. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. So we've reached halftime here in our nation's capital with the commanders on top. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Second half about to start. The Commanders have the lead. They'll get it first as we are back underway. This taken in at the goal line. And he returns this to the 22. Out there set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. They'll get this to the 24, and it's second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here, and what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while, get at least two first downs, give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Powell ran it last time. Now he's going to throw it. Now, quick throw there going to be batted away and incomplete. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and give the football right back because your friend, old momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. From the gun on third down, Howell. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked off by Landon Collins. And the Eagles are going to take possession of the football. Well, pretty much everything went their way offensively in the first half, but now an interception on the opening drive of the third quarter. As we know, the key to everything here, don't get careless with the football. The problem is you've got to stay aggressive as well. So where's the line between being aggressive and attacking and being overly aggressive I think they just crossed it on that one. They'll try and start this drive in the air. It's caught, Smith. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. Now a first and 10 at the 11. He'll look to throw. That is caught at the seven yard line. It'll go as a gain of four, and it'll be second down. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Brown. Touchdown, Eagles! A.J. Brown, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Eagles take the interception on defense and convert it into six points. Elliott on for the extra point. It's up and good. This becomes a 21-14 ball game now. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. Give them a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run pass option. You get the sense that next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? 
from the 27. Powell. He'll get this into the hands of Antonio Gibson. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. Hal trying to pick it up on third. And he finds McLaurin. And he's going to have a commander's first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. What a play there by Fletcher Cox to get in and knock him down behind the line. So their task a little bit more difficult now. Second and 13 that they're walking up on. Second down, Hal back to pass. Looking for Dotson, and he's got him. And he has another first down, and so get the ball down to the Eagles 39. He goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. Boy, nowhere to go at all on that first down run as they will get to him behind the line of scrimmage. to the ground with Gibson. He finds some open field here. And that one opened up for him well as he'll take this down to the 26-yard line. 50 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. They run with the Alabama rookie, and that's Brian Robinson. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Second down and a run by Robinson. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. I'll tell you what, this defense hasn't played its best, but they're still right in this football game. And if they keep making plays just like that, they're going to give their offense a chance. The Eagles call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. They'll go with a touch pass here, trying to pick it up. Oh, a fine work there as he gets this thing down to the 11-yard line. It's a pickup of 12 and a commander's first down. Oh, they're going to run a little pop pass here. And he is into the end zone for a commander's touchdown. Jahan Dotson with his second touchdown of the game and fifth on the year. And the commanders will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. Extra point by Sly is up and good. And the lead now up to 14.
Washington kick team back out there now as they will send this one away. It's a short kick taken out beyond the 20. And they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the 30. offense had to begin their next drive so remember Charles last time they were out here they scored but they just saw the opposition score and they're trailing right now so they're trying to keep pace here they need a touchdown drive well if you're a fan of offense you're loving this but if you're a fan of defense this is tough to watch and it's also tough to keep that up when you just watch your opponent march down the field on a scoring drive the last into double digit snaps you get a score here not just to follow the momentum from your last drive but put the onus back on your opponent and that's what they're doing right now swapping that onus back and forth and he'll be corralled well up field right around the 40 yard line And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Cut. Ready? But first down, Hurts. It's caught on the right side at Smith. Two yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Over the middle, complete. It's Watkins. This offense so far on third down, they have been superb. Five for six to this point. Here it's third and two. Hurts. Left side here to Sanders. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. They'll wind up losing three here on the play. And that's going to make it fourth down. Well, they opted not to run it. They completed the pass on third and two, but they lost yardage to bring up four. But give credit to the guys on the other side of the ball. They snuffed out the play. But it does bring into question, one, the play call, because they didn't run the ball there. They could have run it. And two, just not getting it. That's got to be deflating for them. They'll try and throw for it with Hurts. And that is incomplete, but a penalty flag coming in. This could be a first down. So they get the flag for pass interference. Big call there on fourth down. But it's the right call, and as much as I want to see them play through incidental contact, he's definitely there too early. It's first and ten after a costly penalty there on fourth down. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And he cannot avoid the pressure as the Washington pass rush gets home. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. He finds his tight end, Goddard. That's complete. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means they have to run extra plays, harder to move it. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And that will be incomplete. <laughs> Whether that's a little grabbing, a little hand fighting, by any means necessary on third down, he was able to get the job done in the secondary and swat that one away. Here we go. 
They're going on fourth down with Hurts. He's going to have his running back. It's complete. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they pick up a big chunk of yards to boot. 18 of them. Hurts sets up to throw it. Out to the left there and complete to the tight end, Goddard. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. On second and inches, Hurts. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. I ain't going to scan downfield forever, but there wasn't anything available. Ends up throwing an incompletion, and I think he'll take that. An incomplete pass on second down leads us to third and inches. They'll look to throw again. Steps away, and he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Eagles unable to convert there on fourth. And the Commanders come through with a fourth down stand. They're set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. Big stop on the turnover on downs to get the football back, and now it's just all about salting this one away. Yeah, just slowly bleed the clock away. Clock's definitely on your side. And, you know, when we talk about analytics in the game, what is this one, the advanced win metrics? Because if you take care of the football here, bleed the clock down, were they about 95% chance? Of oh, yeah, I'd say 95 or better. I, and I know you always say it, every coach does. It's just protecting the football at this point. Yeah, and knowing that the defensive guys, they're coming after the ball more than they are the person. They want to knock it free. 57 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. I know we're in the era of wide open football, a lot of spread formations, more space. But there's still a spot for power football. We just saw some of it right there. How about that run? Yeah, breaking the tackle. And, you know, late in this game, he wants the football in his hands. He's had a good day. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now here's a little touch pass as they tap it quickly to their receiver. Looking for an opening, not much there. He'll get it to the 39. Now they did get a little gain on this play, but all in all, a nice job defensively against the touch pass. They were able to string it out towards the sideline and never let him get the corner and turn it upfield for a bigger chunk of yardage. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Commander's football as we get back to it. And you'd have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. Straight ahead, Gibson. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. And this is an absolutely big third down that's been set up here, partner. And there's no other way to put it. The defense has to get a stop here if they have any hopes of winning this game. Pastor, you said big third down. I'd put the word big in capital letters here. On the move past the 40. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. Forget the run on third and one. They shot the D and rip off a pretty big play. But when you're up by two scores in the fourth quarter, you're going to throw the football. Expect to see a lot of man coverage because usually what comes along with man coverage is pressure. So if you're a play caller and you want to keep throwing the football, that's fine. Just make sure your offensive line understands they're going to get additional guys running at the quarterback. Now it looks like he'll throw here. And that is caught. Touchdown, Washington. 
Bo Melton. His first NFL reception goes for six. And the Commanders look like they're going to get back in the win column as they extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. Extra point by Sly is up and good. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Kick this one away, and off it goes. Fielded just outside the goal line. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self and that his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. And the Commanders are going to take possession of the football. Gosh, you add up last week and this week now. That's nine interceptions in this two-game stretch, and we're not done here. It's almost like the game, believe their eyes. Or maybe, partner, is the confidence level in him so high that they believe he'll get out of it and make plays for them to win a game. Well, they've said they believe in him. That's being tested right here. And he gets this inside the 10 to the 9. It's also a gain of 9. Line of scrimmage, the 9. Second and about a yard. Second down, Howell now. This to McLaurin out on the left side. Touchdown! Terry McLaurin, a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Commanders have opened up a four-touchdown lead here in the fourth. Extra point by Sly is up and good, and that'll increase their lead to 28. Kick team out there for the Commanders as they send this one away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he's going to get this across the 20 as he's out of bounds at the 23. Let's go now. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. They can't do much at this point, partner. This one is going to go down in the loss column. You don't make up for what has happened. And my goodness, another interception. And the Commanders are going to take possession of the football. Boy, they get him yet again, Charles. Five interceptions in this game. You rarely see this, maybe a couple of times in a season, but in this defense, they've been fantastic. It's certainly an example of watching a defense that is in the zone, right? We use that term so often, but most of the time, it's for people who are on offense. In this case, it's the defense as a whole, all locked in with each other, all ready to go. And Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the title is this one.
overcame all the odds. I ain't been playing it safe, nah. I was just giving my all. I'm taking it there. Hop in the rafe and we lay in the stars. I made it happen to boss, yeah. I was just playing my cards. I'm taking it there. I'm taking it there. I'm taking it there. It's gonna be a riot, that means quiet. I got the can of gas, I'm about to ignite. I am driven, I won't ever get tired. Cause I've been left behind, I have to get right. Waiting on the sign, now I just wait on myself. Got nothing weighing on the mind. One thing I learned after all this time, the mountain you carry meant for you to climb. All this time, I'm on the grind. Oh, I'm shining, nothing can stop me. All these years, blood, sweat, and tears. But I'm still here, nothing can stop me. Run it up, run it up, run it up, run it up, run it up. Run it up. Nothing can stop me. Run it up, run it up, run it up, run it up, run it up. Nothing can stop me. My Brooklyn go see side rock, south side, C12911, good to the reality, we still outside. Mine on the riches, heart in the trenches. You can't throw dirt on the underground, we thrive in it. Ghana boy stocks on the rise, Charlie, this flex no day ready. See, we wanna ride nobody way, we the ones who started with it. Translation, yani yani buy, yani yani hits. This goes so hard, even the ops go with it, uh-huh. That's how you know we lit. The pride of my people are ready. Tell my city, Ellie. Me, I'm just sharing my journey. I'm thankful that people they hear me. Tribe of Joseph, I'm ahead of the bunch. P5, I was starving for months. A running cut team, both of my pockets, me, need my DNA. Baby, for lunch, but we call me a star before BBC. Don't take a lot to get rid of me. Me and them know they're the same. Me and them know they're the same. Oh, I don't know who the name is. They say I move like I'm nameless. Cause I only come for the money bags and I don't really wanna be famous. Man. We going crazy, we at the top and we never gonna stop Hopping a ghost, I'ma get swayzy I just got off of the jet and I cry My n****, I win and I hum the lie I be on go cause I come from the shot I'm shooting back, I ain't ducking no shots Got power like sense and I cut off the locks Ah, shot back, ah, Tema In the cut like I'm Fredo Santana Lose you bench and I hop in the Bama The world is mine, I'm Tony Montana I'm Pelican Fly, diamonds on me cause I'm rapping a rock I'ma go hard, I ain't killing them soft I'm up in the hills, I feel like I'm Lauren You ready or not? I like who got businesses, I'm CEO of mine. 1980, Prezi, Roly, we been working overtime. The witness, the police, the pigs, I don't eat swine. Son of Jacob, this biblical, my flow the holy God. Save money, ground up in the gutter where they found us. Stones in the faint mouth rush. More vacays, more bucks, more race, more foreign trucks. More on a tour bus, more poor cup. Toast to the winners, throw it up, uh. You gotta choose. You like the top or you just like the lose. Make a move. Then at the bottom, I got the proof. You gotta choose. You like the top or you just like the lose. Make a move. Then at the bottom, I got the proof. You gotta choose. Yeah, I jump out the booth. Then I might hop through the roof. Got all the rings. Duh. My team is the truth. But they some lies to you. And they never sing. Huh? But they always shoot. And all of their diamonds are new. And that's why I'm here with Billy. Cause I really get it. And I need all my honeys in blue. You gotta choose. You like the 
top of you just like to lose. Make a move. Been at the bottom, I got the prove. You gotta choose. Make a choice. I need a hundred pack for my boys. Did be hating and talking and talking and hating. I bet you I kill the noise. I've been a man like I'm painting. I boost up my rating. You know how I play with toys. Pop out on any occasion. Get standing ovations. They can't help it but rejoice. They all wanna follow me. Cause I got my foot on the opposition neck and ain't no apologies. Honey, y'all, you know I own all the property. Daddy told me you know I own all the property. You gotta choose. You like the top of you just like the lose. Make a move. Been at the bottom. I got the proof. You gotta choose. You like the top of you just like the lose. Make a move. Been at the bottom. I got the proof. You gotta choose. You like the top of you just like the lose. Make a move. Been at the bottom. I got the proof. You gotta choose. You like the top of you just like the lose. Make a move. Been at the bottom. I got the proof. You gotta choose.
what you waiting for? Are you ready? Okay, say no more. Tell the chauffeur to open Mercedes door. Put the pedal to metal and made it sore. She was, but I made it sure. It was, so we stayed indoors. Let's take it where no one has been before. It feel like I've known you some years before, but I don't know. Are you ready? Okay, say no more. Are you ready? Okay, say no more. She's a lotus and I'm the conductor of a magnum opus. Simply by the doses. Why don't we take advantage of this moment? And wherever you are. I remember when it was the nose, please. Now they captured the fashion from flow seats. I'm a whole king. Are you ready? Okay, say no more. Are you ready? Okay, say no more. She's a lotus and I'm the conductor of a magnum open. Simply grab the doses. Why don't we take advantage of this moment? And wherever you are, we own it. Ooh, it's trouble in paradise. So let's parachute where the air is nice. And let's risk it all on the paradise. But she just want to make sure her hair is nice. That's fair, right? I just fell in love with a prima donna. The 2023 Madonna. I mean, your honor. I was minding my business until she gave me complete nirvana. Are you ready? Okay, say no more. Are you ready? Okay, say no more. She's a lotus and I'm the conductor of a magnum opus. Simply grab the doses. Why don't we take advantage of this moment? And wherever you are. some true stories to tell you're back outside but they still lie whoa yeah take off the fufu take off the cloud chase take off the wi-fi take off the money phone take off the car loan take off the flex and the white loss take off the weird jury i'm gonna take 10 steps then i'm taking off top off take off some fabricate streams and the microwave memes it's a real world outside take off your idols take off the runway take off the cairo Take off the Sandro pay, five days stay, take off for the meal, hella fine. Take off the far flat, take off perception, take off the cop with the iPad. Take off the unload, take off the unsure, take off decisions, I lack. Take off the fake deep, take off the fake woke, take off the I'm broke, I care. Take off the gossip, take off the new logic, that if I'm rich, I'm real. Take off the should nail, take off the doje, take off the broken bag. Take all that designer, off and what do you have? You out of pocket. Huh. Two ATMs, <laughs> you step in the what? You out of pocket. Huh. Who you think they talk about? Talk about us. You Shoo. out of pocket. Shoo. Who you think they cover your cover your bus? The world in a panic, the women is stranded, the men on the run. The profits are vanished, the law take advantage, the market is crashing, the industry wants. To sleep in the box while they making a mockery following us. This ain't monopoly watching for love. This ain't monogamy, y'all get invited. Jumping on what the hell is that? I gotta relax when I feel. All my descendants, they come in my secrets, say I am too real. I'm done with the sensitive, taking it personal. Done with the black and the white, the wrong and the right. You hoping for change and clericals. I know the feelings that came with burials cries. You ugly. You out of pocket. Two ATMs, you stepping the what? You out of pocket. Who you think they talk about? Talk about us. You out of pocket. Who you think they carry up, carry up us? Serving up a look, dancing in a job. Hello to the big step, but never lose a count. Venting in the safe house. Venting in the safe Can I feel up my truth? I got nothing to lose. I got problems and booze. I can swim on my feet. Cameras moving whenever I'm moving. The family suing whatever I make. Murder is stacking. The president acting. The government taxing my funds in the bank. Homies ejecting the fence when I ain't breaking. Look at my reaction. My pupils on skates. Hello, hello. Let's think about this for a second. Oh. Tell me what you would do for steady. Oh. When you show your show no credit. Oh. When you show your bro for leverage. Oh. What a hypocrite said. What community feel that the only one's relevant? Oh. What a hypocrite said. What community feel that the only one's relevant? Oh. <laughs> You out of pocket, yeah, you out of pocket You entertain the mediocre, need to stop it You entertaining old friends when they toxic What's your life like, you got 
aggressive. What the fuck is council culture, dog? Say what I want about you, I'm like over, dog. I treat you like I'm jigger, watch I own it all. Oh, you worry about a critic that ain't protocol. in the dark and I keep getting stronger my limits the sky I do the impossible impossible shine if I want to I win every time if I want to the world mine if I want to Make the world mine, cause I want to. Hey, I pull the sword out the border, walk a floor full of cobras. Go to war with you all, we can brawl toe to toe. I can tighten loops in my lace and make lightning lose in a race. I make fire cool and I come back from the triangle and Bermuda. I can suit up, living the moon up, working and outsmarting computers. I can outswim all the tuna, and that's without a scuba. So in the laws of nature, I'm breaking the rules. Only thing I'm bad at is being a loser. Hey, 